Risky. He makes a beautiful deep. He shoots. Scores! Lee Kresge wins it in overtime for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take that, you bastard! Come on, McDonald. That was BS and you know it. Hey, what are you nerds up to? Frenchie and I are playing a seven-game tournament pitting the best Toronto Maple Leafs of all time versus the best Montreal Canadiens team of all time. Winner takes all. But wait, didn't I just hear you say Wayne Gretzky scores for the Leafs? That's right, you did. But, uh, hello, news bulletin. Wayne Gretzky never played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You see? You see what I have to put up with? Look, I'm going to explain this for the last time. Well, it's true. Gretzky actually never played for the Blue and White. He was, however, signed to a brief contract to play for the Leafs until Stavros, the owner, decided to crush the hopes and dreams of all Leaf fans around the globe by vetoing the trade last minute. So for the brief time, Gretzky's name was on the Leafs contract, so eat it, Frenchie. <laughs> Tony McDonald, I ate it when you call me Frenchie. Oh, oh, are you going to cry now? Oh, poor baby. Here, here, wipe your red, white, and blue tears with that. I would rather use the blue maple leaf to wipe something else. Uh, I'm sorry, O'Shane, but I have to call an offside on this one. Wayne Gretzky never played a game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. It doesn't count. Definitely doesn't belong on the team. In your face, McDonough. Well, surprise, surprise. The devil takes the Montreal Canadiens side. I'm a devil's fan, not Satan. And you're wrong, McDonald, and you know it. All I know is that my Maple Leafs are winning the series 1-0. to nil. So suck it up and deal with it. Fine, right, if that is how you want to play it, then game on. I can't believe you two actually like this ultimate fighter nonsense. Why? What's your beef with mixed martial arts? First of all, you got two grown men locked in a cage, wearing nothing but scantily clad trousers, rolling around the ground, groping one another, forcing one another to submit. It's practically pornographic. I remember, you used to love ultimate fighting. What happened? That's because it used to be good. They went and changed all the rules. That's what happened. Years ago, they would look into each other's eyes when they fought, just long enough for one of them to butt the other one right in the nose, right between the eyes, dropping him like a sack of potatoes. And if you were stuck in an iron bar, you were allowed to bite the other man right in his baby sack until he let you go. That was ultimate fighting at its best. Now it's just a bunch of gobshites. Ah, what the hell? All this good reminiscing is giving me the grimy number two. Off to use the porcelain pack, man. <laughs> there died another piece of my innocence. Oh, watch out. This fight is about to be over. You know what they say. The game isn't over till the fat lady sings. Well, Susan Boyle is warming up the mic because you, my friend, are caught in an arm bar. Yes! Told you, my friend, nobody can beat the great Jackson. Henry did! <laughs> oh man, I gotta get going. I almost forgot. I gotta go pick up my sister at the airport. I still cannot believe that your sister is moving all the way here from Portugal. Who found their scissors in the porthole? <laughs> no one, you fool! Steven's sister is moving from Portugal! Things are pretty tough overseas right now. I told my mom I'd give her a job at my store. What? Steven's mother's got a job as a whore! <laughs> God, no! I told her I'd give my sister a job at the store! Hey, when in a conversation, get to the toilet! Just do your business and shut the hell up! I just hope we can get along, you know? But brother and sister don't have problem. It's like we come from two different worlds. My religious mother raised her in Portugal after her parents got divorced. My dad wasn't religious at all, which is why they ended up getting separated. I just hope we don't butt heads, you know? Why does your sister think you're a butthead? 